Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to Psychology Eats. So what's eating you? Well, today I am talking about denial. So denial is when someone is not willing to face the truth, truth, the truth, facts, and the evidence. They just refuse to do it. Some people actually operate their life in denial. They're like, nope, you can present them with all the evidence, the truth, um, all the facts, and they will still not accept what it is. They will say, nope, I don't care what you say. It's not like that. It wasn't said that way. He's not doing that. She's not doing it that so they just live in denial. So I'm going to give you a little story time about someone that I know who is living their life out loud um, for the whole world to see and they are in denial. So this person is really giving a good example of what it is to live in denial and to operate your life in denial. Now, this person is not the only person that we know that lives in denial. You probably know someone in your own life that lives in um, a state of denial. So this person, we're going to call her Anna. So Anna, the real, the, 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 the real short story it's a long story, but here's the short version of the story. Anna um, moved from one state to another state, and she um, acquired an apartment. Although Anna had the money to pay the rent on this apartment, she didn't meet all the criteria for living in the apartment. Now listen, there are a lot of places that we may want to live, but because we don't meet all of the criteria, we can have the money. But maybe our background check doesn't, it has a strike on it. And the apartment complex is like, nope, I don't want somebody in my apartment complex that has a felony or an aggravated assault or anything like that. Or a former eviction or credit score under 500. Yes, you may have the money, but we don't want your kind here. And honestly, all of that really started to keep certain people out of certain areas. Right? And so if they put all of these criterias up, um, some of these complexes are hoping that certain are not going to be admitted in because they're not going to be able to meet all the criteria. Okay. But... Anna was able to finesse her way into the apartment with the help of the apartment manager who acted as like a salesperson. I guess they have a quota. They need to fill these apartments up like any other apartment complex. We're going to call this lady um, Miss Sandy. So Miss Sandy finessed the paperwork so that Anna could move into the apartment. Okay. Um, somewhere in there, Anna asked her mom to be a co-signer and then her mom's paperwork ended up being okay to move in the apartment. So, Miss Sandy put mom's name as the lease C. The lease sir. And kept off Anna's name because remember, Anna didn't meet all the criteria. So anyway, now Anna, so anyway, no, the apartment complex, I believe, was bought out by somebody else, and now Anna is in the apartment, and they want her out. They want her out. But Anna is in a state of denial. She is denying the truth. The truth is, they don't want your money, and they don't want you in the complex. They don't. 
That's the truth. The facts are you illegally signed the paperwork, Anna, and therefore the evidence proves that you are not eligible to be living in the apartment. So why won't Anna just leave? Well, because Anna is in the state of denial. And Anna has told herself that she's right. Everyone else is wrong. And she's staying. And she's going to stay. Well, most of us know what's going to happen. We know what the, the outcome is going to be. And they're going to have Anna removed from the premises. Period. She's going to be removed. And so, if she was able to step out of her denial, she would be able to clearly see that based on the criteria of the apartment complex, they have every right to say, you got to go. You got to go. They have every right to do that. Because you are illegally in the apartment at this point. So Anna is not the only example of someone in denial. Look around in your own, look at yourself. You know, are you living in a state of denial? Right? I think it's easy for us to watch other people and like, oh my God, I can't believe you're so stupid. You don't see the truth. You don't see the evidence. You don't see the facts. And then you look at your own experiences in life. You knew that man was cheating. He wasn't even coming home half the time. You saw the evidence that he was not true in the relationship, but you denied it. You ignored it. So we all have times in our life where we have denied the truth, the facts, and the evidence. And although we can watch examples of people like Anna and think, oh my God, she's so stupid, she's so dumb, da, da, da. we have to sometimes, you know, check your own self. Check the people in your life. Are they in denial? And why do you think they operate that way? So that's it. That's all I got to say about denial. Oh, I got a treatment plan. Here's my treatment plan. Hold on for a second. Anna, get out of denial. Face the facts. You got to go. You have got to go. And anyone else that you know who are, is living in denial... Um, give them the facts, the truth, and the evidence. And if they still don't listen, then let's let them be who do. Let's let them do what they're gonna do. Let them do what they're gonna do. Okay. The treatment plan for Anna. The treatment plan for Anna is. I think. Um. Mm, obviously leave the premises but you're, if you're not going to listen I would say you know do you you know it's going to be very embarrassing when the sheriffs show up and pretty much drag you out of there um, learn something from this entire experience you you know this Anna there's many 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 of Anna's um I would say learn something from this. And if you don't learn anything from it, you'll repeat it. I think this might even be a repeat. So obviously you're not learning anything from it. If you find yourself, anybody that you live in these states of denial, go and find somebody to help you process why you do that. Did you learn that, you know, from who raised you? You watch them being denied. 
Like, where did you learn that behavior? And that's pretty much it. That's the treatment plan. Figure out why you do the what you do. Um, you know, if that's therapy or whatever, find somebody that can help you process that. But denial is a really tough spot to be in and to live in because you just never reach goals when you are in denial of obvious things that everybody else can see, but you can't see it. So that's it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.